everyone welcome back so in the previous video we have created the virtual networks so this is the network that we have created in the previous video so these are the three different virtual networks that we have created namely core service vnet uh, manufacturing vnet and research vnet which are there in three different locations and uh, we have added uh, uh, the relevant subnets to them and in this video we are going to configure the dns settings so we are going to create the dns settings and the second task that we are going to do is we are going to link the subnets for auto registration and the third one we are going to do is we are going to create the virtual machines to test the configurations and in the end we are going to verify the records are present in the dns zone so let's go ahead and do that so search for uh, private uh, dns zones click that and let's go ahead and create one So sure pass and I'm going to select this resource group that we have created and uh, so let it be the east US and let's uh, make everything default and let's go ahead and create. So once uh, this is created, the second task is we have to uh, link these subnets to for the auto registration. So let it. So let's uh, wait for some time. It's uh, deploying the process. now it's being created uh let's go to the dns and uh, let's go to the virtual network links so the virtual networks that we have created in the previous video uh, we are going to link uh, them here now so let's add so for the first virtual network let us name it as uh, core service vnet link so which is in the east us and uh, let's select the virtual network and enable the auto registration here so as you can see uh, the setting enables the auto registration creation for the dns records uh, in the private gs zone for the virtual machines connected to the virtual network so let's go ahead and create well refresh it so it's in the process let's go ahead and create the second one so coming to the second one let's create manufacturing unit link so let's paste and uh, let's select the west europe and enable the auto registration here let's click ok and let's add the final one which is the research vnet so let's go ahead and create final one yeah well i guess i've added three virtual networks so once uh, we have created the three virtual networks, uh, let's go ahead and create the virtual machines now to test the configuration. So there are two different methods through which you can uh, configure your uh, virtual machines. The first one is using the cloud shell. So you can use the commands here uh, in order to uh, create that virtual machine. So. I already have the JSON files here so you can see uh, using these two different uh, Azure deploy JSON and uh, Azure deploy parameters I can create the virtual machines using uh, some commands but in this case uh, I'm going to create manually so let's go to the virtual machines 
it's grade one so in this let's go to the resource group that we have created let's keep it as test vm1 let it be east us and uh, let it be windows server 2022 so let us keep it as azure user so let me copy the password and let me paste it here so i can connect through rdp port which is uh, 3389 so let let uh, let's go to the networking and uh, think everything is okay okay so let it uh, leave everything as default and let's go ahead and create uh, the virtual machine so so you can see there is some cost for this so when uh, whenever you create the virtual machines uh, make sure that you delete it whenever the lab is done so in this case let me create this so meanwhile let's go ahead and uh, create other virtual machine okay let's go ahead and create so the same resource group let us give it as test vm2 i'm using the same username and password here so done and let us check the networking command. so everything is fine let's go ahead and create uh, it so create So I believe the first virtual machine should be created. Let's go ahead and refresh. Yeah, so the first one is created. The second one is being creating. So once uh, these two virtual machines are created, uh, we have to connect uh, them through RDP. So let me, it's still creating, let me refresh it. So it's running. The second one is being creating. So so yeah, it's being created. Let's refresh with simplified view. Well, I think yeah. So done. Let's go to the first one. So let me go to the RTP and let me download the file. So this is for the VM1 and similarly do it for the VM2. So download it. and one. so so let's go to the second one and uh, so the second one is also been creating so let's open the first one it's created a So once uh, once everything is done, we have to open the command prompt and we have to check the IP configurations. So let me minimize this thing and let me open command prompt. So you can see the IP address here. 
and uh, you can conform with uh, the IP address which is there in the DNS zones. Okay, let's get this. So you can see here. So we have the same IP address related to that. Okay. So similarly, you can check with the uh, VM2. The reason I was not able to find. Let me go to here and uh, be config all. So you can see the preferred one. Nice. And let me try this one. test we have so as you can see uh, we are getting request timed out so this means there is a firewall which is trying to stop the ping requests so once you remove those uh, firewall restrictions you will be able to uh, uh, successfully run this ping request but however you can uh, use nslookup to get the information about vm2 there you go so you can see uh, we have got the information so this is the end of the lab uh hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, configuring the dns so if you have liked the video please click like button below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you guys